Rahul Bhatt, greetings. What's your name? Uh, Where are you calling from? Uh, greetings. This is Adrian. I'm uh, calling from Philadelphia. Yeah, greetings. Uh, greetings. Um, I, I always, um, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Perfect. Uh, I've always been hearing um, this, this um, I wouldn't say question, or um, the saying like they look like us, but they're not us. Um, if that makes sense to you, like, um, is that dealing with um, people who, I don't know, on, on, on their en Enlil's kids, if he had kids um, from his bloodline and, you know, they're the one, you know, creating all the chaos on the planet right now? Or, you know, there's people I'm hearing, you know, that look like us, but they're running things behind the system, like, I mean, like putting you know, white people in the front as, as if they are the, they are the ones causing all, all the problems, but it's actually black people in the background, you know, you know, yeah, making all the decision and really, you know, creating the chaos on the planet, if that makes sense. Sorry, um, what was the first, I didn't hear the first part of your question clearly. Okay, so I was saying that, um, one second, let me try this. Mm -hmm. uh, I did hear about the chaos on the planet, but I just wanted to catch that first part. First part. You can hear me again, right? I can hear you, yeah. Right. So, like, I'm hearing there's, you know, that saying that says um, they look like us, but but they're not us. Oh, so, okay. Mm -hmm. And with that saying, is that dealing with, you know, possible um, offsprings that was under Enlil's bloodline and causing all the chaos on the planet? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm wondering if it's I'm hearing that you know there you know it's actually black people in the background. I mean, put white people in the front as if they're the ones causing the problems. Um, but you know, it's actually black people in the background. You know. Yeah, I, I, I get the question now, and the the gotcha. thing is, when when we say I hear or I've heard this and that, it's good to know the source of where it's coming from because. That sometimes people will be saying things and it just spreads like, you know, hearsay and wildfire without any evidence. But the point you're making about the different seeds, there's agreeable and disagreeable seeds on the planet. Because even through the scriptures, it tells you that the devil has a seed and that there would be enmity between the devil's seed and the, um, the woman's seed. But in every, everyone has that disagreeable and agreeable within them because as humanoids we evoluted by way of the waters and being partly reptilians and that reptilian nature is in us as well as the other natures because you're a reptilian in terms of you're in water in fact as a tadpole you're semen um, coming from the seas and there's different types of reptilians and then we have the genetics of the Notaru. And like you said, when you're dealing with the Anunnaki story, you have the two sons, Enlil and Enki, and Enlil was the disagreeable one. And obviously, Enki also mixed with taking wives from, from Africa, from the seed of the Notaru. So the day we're living in now, there are so many hybrids, so many ship, shapeshifters, and this is where the, the doctrine of Wu Sabat helps you to find out about yourself, first of all. You have to learn and know who and what you are, know what you've accepted. Look at your actions, look at what you do before then looking at others. But you're right that the, the seed of Nana and Enlil, these are the ones that are causing the chaos on the planet. And why sometimes when black people um, teach that, you know, the white man's the devil and we talk about other races, um, the master teacher put out a recording many years ago saying that if you say you're black and you're first, where did the devil come from then? And so it's not about the races. This is why we say no one wins the race in racism. It's more about your real being, the inner you, and um, what your actions, like he says, if you, if you, proclaim that you're a Sabian or a Nuwapian, let it be known by your actions. And the actions come by way of you learning the information, the doctrine, and then applying it. Because 
The only way you can tell who's who on the planet is based on their, their actions and what they actually do. And there are clear signs for the people that are causing chaos on the planet. Yeah, so I hope that answered that question.